everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Going to try to keep this short and simple. I do apologize for the uh, mistake in editing in my last video. I have removed that section and I'm going to put the correct section in this video coming up about the Leah situation with Wachter. Uh, I'm going to make sure not to do that again and make sure to keep the editing precise as much as I can. Of course, I am a one person show and it will probably happen again. I can't promise you it won't, but I will try my best to keep it short. Hello, everybody. We have big news or at least a big rumor that's been going around of Russia joining Wachter, Mikaneko joining Wachter. There's nothing wrong with someone doing that. This is, of course, a rumor. Nothing wrong with doing that. But this is, of course, Mikaneko, of course, the, is independent VTuber right now, has had a bit of drama going on in their life with, uh, you know, divorces and things being canceled projects being canceled other things happening just getting a lot of hate well here we go with a new accusation that's popping up in regards to new things that are happening according to uh this mi416a of course this is a rumor again i'm mentioning yoronuki who is rumored to be the person behind mika neko showed a part of mika's waiting screen for a moment at the end of stream and the archive was immediately deleted what this is saying is that they were if the times match 100%, then after they finished with Ruki, which is the person that is uh, accused of being uh, Mikineko, they were going to go to the waiting screen for Rusia in the sense that what they were saying, what they're saying is that they were going to basically switching from one scene to the next and they forgot to end it before they switched over to the Rusia part, to the Mikineko part, I mean, in this case. And that is what is accused. That basically because, like they said right here, if you look at the archive for Rookie from that time, you can see that she didn't respond to the comments. So she was streaming a recording to create an alibi. That doesn't prove that it's a different person. The fact that he that they were caught on camera this time doesn't prove that it's the same person. But in the past, Nazana's thumbnail was caught on Mika's stream. So Mika Neko is known for making mistakes like this. Uh, every VTuber makes mistakes like this occasionally. But this is all circumstantial. Uh, remember, correlation does not equal causation. Just because it, it seems to be that way doesn't mean it's 100% that way. But it really is looking, you know, seriously like she is at the very least the same person or, you know, doing the same things. Over here, they have the explanation of the person during that time of uh, Ruki. This is apparently in the previous stream, I left the window open while watching a video of my favorite streamer. When I finished the game, it, I, it was reflected in the video. Sorry that Rookie caused unnecessary misunderstandings. I'm sorry to the female streamers that I caused trouble for. I respect you. And this is Rookie, of course, from 910 Inc. She's been doing a lot of a lot of things. I've done comparisons of the voice. The voice is very similar. But then again, you know, a lot of other people have been accused of having like the same voice as uh, Nyaners, for example. You know, they're just this happens a lot. These type of things happen a lot. So you make your decision. That's why I put this information out there. So you can make your decisions here. This person also is 910 Inc. Clara says, it's only been a month since the box started, which is like since the stream started. Why are we being attacked like this? Again, it says, I've been bullied since my debut. I'm so scared. So should I sue you? That's kind of like, you know, kind of trying to make some funniness out of the whole thing. You guys make your decisions. This is still a rumor. It is, it is never going to be proven by the person. They're never going to accept it. They're never going to say that they are. So the rumors are the only things we can have at this moment. Hello, everyone. Today, we're starting out with something a little bit interesting for you guys. At least I think it's going to be interesting. For all those who don't know, Wachter is this organization here who was doing very nasty stuff. A lot of their people left because there was nepotism. There was a guy basically trying to uh, take all their time and make them do a lot of things, a lot of favors for them. A lot of that kind of stuff. A lot of people left. They all spoke out against it. And because they were, uh, threat I believe, threatened for lawsuits and stuff like that, they kind of backed off. But they had most of their things happening. So what did they do? They became 910 Inc. They rebranded itself in order to get away from all the nastiness that was Wachter. So what it, who did that affect? It affected Mitsurugi Leah. She decided to leave around 2023 and become an independent VTuber, which she is right now. She decided to not no longer be part of Wachter group, be part of Wachter's whole thing. The retirement is 8th of March. The Twitter account made a statement announcing media end to Leah's streaming activities. The statement alleges the result of defamation and slander surrounding certain rumors involving her. Leah's mental state had taken a drastic downturn. As of 12th of March, all her Twitter accounts have been deleted and a YouTube channel had all but one video deleted as well. What did they do? As we're seeing right now, Mitsurugi Leah, who was a former member, now has all of her stuff deleted, which as was mentioned before, 
But now she has a new voice actress going in and doing all of her old stuff. Now, here's the thing. Don't hurt the, the voice actress. Don't hurt the messenger. Hurt hurt the person who's, you know, the, the agency who's doing it. So I guess you don't want to support them in this case. It really does suck for the new voice actress because they got a gig that is probably an amazing gig for them. They already get a set channel, a set group of people looking for them, and hopefully it goes well. And it says, we can always count on Wachter to ensure Niji is only second worst VTuber group. Riku, hey Akira, we need to do Wachter things. Let's do any color stock to rise just from being compared to your company. And that's what they're doing. Companies just like Keys in the Eye back then don't seem to understand VTubing is something between acting and face cam streaming. Yes, you can act a role, but that role is also partially you. Exactly. People won't necessarily necessarily go after just the the vtuber model they go after the actress sometimes more sometimes less but without the original actor it never feels the same in much worse way than like a film you can't just replace a talent who attempted with another person to voice her character avatar didn't that old wachter ceo allow her to leave with all her ip stuff in the first place yes and so far it's the only case on wachter it didn't help at all with the favoritism accusations uh regarding the woman who's taken on the, the role of course like i said Conflicted on one hand, I feel sorry for her and anticipate the potential harassment she may face. On the other hand, surely she understands how wrong it is to do this. This is the channel. This is so far what she has out here. Let's hear her in her own voice. In her own actual voice. I'm going to be hearing everything that we can about this. And this was posted just 14 hours ago. So I feel bad for this person. Like I said, the voice seems like it's in probably a sweet woman, sweet person doing all of this kind of stuff, but it hurts them that this whole thing is happening. So I wish them well, but I don't think it's going to go as well as at least 910 Inc. Uh, planned. And also it's a really scummy thing for them to do. Moving on to some interesting news here of uh, Millie Parfait. If you remember last time, I posted that, you know, they said you're not a failure, just a difficult point in time right now. And yes, that is a good message to have. Probably has something to do with some personal issues she's having, which I don't knock her for. But of course, um, Filipino uh, VTuber group will will have uh, different ideas of how things are supposed to be doing. So let's take a look. They're saying, oh, Millie, you don't get to say such things when you blatantly defended your workplace that I must remind you are treacherous Filipino, but nearly indirectly am somebody uh, different. So many different people. Uh, Millie, go and F herself. She says he's a bully, worships a company that puts people in difficult positions. Holy crap, they're going hard on her. He says, wait, what happened? This is so weird. Karma's a B, ain't it? So people are really going aggressive on her. But that's, I mean, people are going to be what they're going to be. You are a failure as Millie. Uh, Basta keep, blah, blah, blah. Oh, they're doing, they're doing stuff in, tag yeah, they're doing stuff in different uh, Tagalog, I believe. Uh, you're not a failure. I'm just telling your management to halt your progress as growth as a VTuber because I hate you. <laughs> oh, God. Um, more stuff. Um, I just have, uh, I'm just in awe that you guys are doing to her what you hate about her. Just forgive her, guys. Selena already moved on. Let them rebuild their lives. Did she apologize yet? Well, she hasn't apologized. So I guess that's one reason why they're still not gonna, gonna do it. Uh, again, Millie be like, looking at you. Uh, oh, the irony, Millie, the irony. Oh no, Desua. Oh, you're not a difficult, you're in a difficult point in right now. Like, all actually failing. What the hell is that kind of idea from? Oh god. Uh, shut the F up online. Uh, she's Filipino, by the way. She's Canadian. Silence. Shut the F up. You chose to be a martyr. You die as a martyr. Holy crap. This is, this is, the, the, it's just nothing, nothing, there is no, no big change here, I guess. Filipinos are extremely prideful and as patriots to a fault, we see Filipinos succeed. We are proud countrymen and women. But when you denounce the country like she did in the past, saying that she's Canadian and not a Filipino, when she was born and raised in the Philippines, you can be sure as heck the Filipinos will turn on you in a heartbeat. So when the Solemnity drama happened, it basically broke the restraint. Thus, and now, she's often called the Bajau, used as a slang as a beggar. They came from the Millie begging before her 3D and a sellout. So Filipinos are either your biggest supporters as a Filipino or your most brutal and hateful critics. Gerard being an absolute heel and hate magnet worked in his favor. Uh, only thing can condemn him is if you've done something worse than uh, what Millie's done. The off collabs and the boys during the hollow fest period pretty much exposed it and to filipinos we find over the top and obnoxious characters but is actually a soft puppy really endearing and makes us want to cheer for the guy so uh people like gerard use that to their to their favor as becoming the heel for a lot of people which you know makes sense and it is a fun way to see things but uh millie i guess is getting her comeuppance but of course me personally i don't like people being in tough spots so i definitely understand when people are uh, going to be aggressive to her, but I also want, you know, people to chill without being too aggressive. 
in my opinion. Here is a little question and answer section. Uh, did anything else happen after Uki's white shenanigans? Seemed like it just died down after four months. Well, I mean, it's going to die down because, of course, we have, um, well, human beings in general nowadays have a pretty short attention span when it comes to things. And there's also a bunch of other stuff that has popped up on the Nidhi Sanji um, situation that has pretty much overshadowed everything. Really pretty much overshadowed a lot of what happened with Uki. One thing I've noticed, he has shut up about it. Either he made a decision on his own or management told him to not do anything. It's quite the slap on the wrist compared to what others got. It's very true. But come on, we all know there's so fi no favoritism in Nidhi Sanji. Of course, there's no boy in boxing say. Uh... Statement is quite ironic, knowing that JP management is known for xenophobia. Um, yeah, not much happened, but now Uki pretty much known as that one VTuber that had that comment who doesn't like white people. He is now marked with that scarlet letter forever. Uh, whether he likes it or not, he does have that scarlet letter. It is a thing that happens. Find it intriguing that Kyo was definitely reprimanded for not too offensive remarks. Apology was quite likely to be skinwalked as well, uh, given how adamant he was about not apologizing. And at the end, he graduated. Uki's remarks are way more offensive. He may not have had been reprimanded behind closed doors, but it would not have been as harsh as Kyo, and there was no apology. So, it seems like he has a little bit of favoritism going on, at least that's the way it seems right now. Um, but, yeah, it is weird that not much in the, in the uh, you know, slapping of the wrists has happened. The only ones holding on to it are anime are hurt in other ways, too. It's one of those things, at least for me, it's it, it's, it's S, but it, he said what he said. Am I going to be annoyed? Sure, but I also can choose to no longer watch, support, etc. I'll meme on it if the opportunity arises. It won't let him forget it, but also won't go out of my way to remind him. Exactly. Because it becomes harassment and it just takes up a lot of energy that is better spent on doing other things. And that's one thing that I recommend to a lot of people. Yes, criticize them because that's what I'm here for. I'm here to criticize any kind of bad things I do, any bad things that are done by me or by anyone else. I criticize. But of course, move on and take a look at other things that are happening in the community. They use the meme to kind of get their idea across. How long do you think Kurosanji's EN branch will be merged with their main branch? I think it's going to take at least to the end of the year. If it ever gets merged, it may just be one of those forgotten branches. We don't know. They may just treat it as a vestigial branch, which is really doesn't have vestigial meaning. You know, it has no real actual purpose anymore. It's just there because it was there before. Initially, I was certain they'd merge the branch, but now I'm leaning on them just letting EN die a quiet death in the background from neglect so as to not spook investors right now. That is my thought. That is my complete and, uh, thought about this whole situation. They don't want to look like they fully abandoned uh, the foreign markets because investors love foreign markets. So it would look really, really, really bad on the part of Nidhi Sanji for them to abandon their foreign market, which is the EN, which is their biggest foreign market. So they're probably going to just uh, leave it as a, like I mentioned before, just as a dying uh, brand, but not anything negative. On paper, most likely never keep the name as keep Niji as international brand, but in practice, they will gradually leave them dry, except for a few. Um, yeah, there's probably going to give them projects occasionally, probably just going to give them other things here and there occasionally, but they're not going to get rid of it. I highly doubt they're going to get rid of it, and I highly doubt they're going to let, because investors are their big ones, and they know that investors will spook easily and investors will leave if they mess things up. They will do minimal merch releases for things like birthdays and anniversaries and reduce support to the bare minimum, but never merge the branch, as having the EN branch around will still allow Niji to have a foothold uh, in the EN market regardless of what that, how bad that foothold is. And that's my idea. A reminder that the Summer Jam is still going on. A reminder that um, at the very least, Niji Sanji understands PR-wise that if they canceled it outright after people had bought tickets and all that kind of stuff, uh, then th even their fans were going to have a problem. Even their fans were going to be super angry. I mean, a lot of their fans still are angry at the situation that happened because uh, for those who do not know, they were going to have a concert. They canceled it because the numbers weren't great and uh, they canceled it. Like, I think it was maybe like half a week ago. So it was maybe two weeks before the whole thing happened. Before the whole thing's going to happen because it's going to happen on uh, this Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So it is, it was a big thing, big PR thing. The Nidhi Sanji defenders tried to push it as a safety issue, but we all know that it was because of numbers. Now, they're going to be having the stream, which is at least a consolation prize for all those who are wanting to at least watch it. But um, still, like I said, the PR was still bad. And of course, um, they announced they were going to do a live stream concerts. And they were going to do it at a specific time. Uh, it's good for the talents as their hard work is at least not being wasted. 
Like, that's what I'm saying. If you look at the good side, the very least, the hard work of the talents isn't being wasted. The disadvantages that, like, I remember Shu Yamino, I believe it was, who said that they were very, very excited to, to you know, actually do something in front of a group of people. Uh, our first live concert. Now it's not a live concert. Now it's, you know, something on a, um, a stream instead. At the very least, they're doing this, though, so I'll give them that much. All the money diverted into those 1-7 scale figures in the GN management team. Yeah, they're doing that kind of stuff. They're doing figures instead of doing a concert, which is really weird because Hololive is doing concerts everywhere. And so are a lot of other big agencies. But uh, Nidhi Sandy is one of those weird ones that isn't doing that. The memes, Mason. What do they mean? We got to get some memes in here. We always have to get some memes in here. It's funny how sometimes the most hostile towards the Nidhi Livers are their fans. Nidhi Sister, Nidhi Aunties, Nidhi NDS, Nidhi Talent. Huh? Yeah, the Aunties and the Nidhi Sister sometimes are against each other. I mean, uh, they're for each other and they're helping each other. Yeah, the, the sisters don't know what they're doing. They def freaking are trying to defend, but they get confused and they hurt themselves in their own confusion. And another thing, why watch a boring Vox 3D debut when there are more interesting events in July? The Vox 3D debut is going to be on the 6th at 6 a.m. And then you have, you know, all these other ones. Uh, GT World Series, Yeet Bank, uh, FGF Go, 7th uh, Anniversary, Mokoko, and Good Smile Company doing the things. So there's a lot of things to watch that are probably going to be better suited for your time. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out, Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.